Good morning. I was asked to speak about why Prairie Rivers Network, a clean water organization, is a part of something called Vital Lands Illinois. The short answer is that we see the Vital Lands Illinois vision of an interconnected system of protected lands and water as a really good complement to our clean water, healthy rivers work. Let's take a minute to think about the Illinois landscape. You can take a look at this map of the waterways of Illinois and think about the places that you work to protect. None of those places can be too far from a blue or a green line on here. So we believe that Illinois' river network can be the connections and corridors that the Vital Lands System Map talks about. Our rivers and streams can be the healthy water resources that are necessary to the Vital Lands vision. Now, for the past 15 years, Prairie Rivers Network's bread and butter has been fighting water pollution and we have had many successes on that front. But we've always known that even if we got all pollution out of Illinois rivers, they still wouldn't be healthy. There's another component to river health than just pollution. Take a look at the way we treat our rivers. I'll let these pictures speak for themselves. It's hard to make progress on these types of land use and habitat issues. Solutions to many of them will involve policy changes. We've had a hard time finding the levers to get at some of them at a meaningful scale. This is something that we were really struggling with when around five years ago, the Illinois Wildlife Action Plan was wrapping up, or coming out, and when we first heard about Vital Lands Illinois. We noticed, though, right away that both of those enterprises emphasized the importance of networks of people and networks of land. And we also noticed that several of the Wildlife Action Plan conservation opportunity areas were centered around rivers. So uh, the Wildlife Action Plan and the growing appreciation of the Vital Lands Network Mindset approach helped us find a place and a role to work on some of the habitat and river health issues we had been wanting to. So we took the opportunity to engage with two of the river-focused conservation opportunity areas, the Vermilion River and the Upper Mississippi. Prairie Rivers Network played a coordinating role in each, bringing the people working in the COAs together to share information and develop joint priorities. And from the perspective of the Vital Land System Map, this work was primarily about knitting people and projects together. We've learned a few things in doing that kind of work. It's, they're not terribly profound, but I feel like they're really worth noting. The first is we found that there is a huge hunger for collaboration out there. We were welcomed with open arms. The big impediment to collaboration is that it takes someone with time and effort just to make it happen. We also found that when we could show up with that time and the ability to do some legwork and some organizing, that allowed the practitioners to come to the table, roll up their sleeves and be ready to work together and really buy into and advance a collaborative effort. And we, Prairie Rivers Network, were welcomed in that role because we're a little different. We're not a conservation land trust. We're enough outside to be able to be a trusted partner. So the results of this partnership, a brand new conservation land trust, a new prescribed burn alliance, a plan for implementing the Wildlife Action Plan along the Mississippi River. Other outcomes were joint outreach and education events, shared stewardship, acquisition planning, joint fundraising, and uh, the formation of a network that bridges state, federal, NGO divides. And this is perhaps the most important outcome because it allowed the results we've seen so far and it will allow progress to continue into the future. We believe that the network in the Upper Mississippi will continue to bear fruit and that there will be many more advances to report at future summits. We're really excited about our next project in this vein. It was the brainchild of Eric Skank of Ducks Unlimited and is a direct result of the growing Vital Lands Network. It's a new partnership of groups working along the Middle Illinois River. This will be version 3.0 for us. At the, as the Upper Mississippi Partnership built on what we learned working in the Vermilion River, uh, we expect the Middle Illinois Partnership will take another step forward. 
The idea is still to bring people together around a river. Uh, this time we expect to have even more focus on coordinating acquisition and stewardship activities. And we're also hoping to experiment with some of the ideas that have been bubbling up from the Vital Lands Network, like uh, finding new rollout partners, exploring new business models, aligning the work with recreation interests, and really stepping up community involvement. We want to make the river a place somewhere where people want to go, rather than just viewed as a carbon-fested flood hazard. So we think this iteration will allow us to expand the strategic role that these kind of partnerships can play. We're adding a blue arrow now for um, the strategic role of identifying and igniting experiments. And for Prairie Rivers Network, we're hoping some of these experiments will help advance the work we want to do. So back to the network idea. Here are some photos from Prairie Rivers Network's past fighting dams and winning those fights. We have understood for a long time why you need networks, collaboration, and collective action when you are going after big changes. And I think where we are now is that we're all realizing that if we want to make the big changes from today, see this landscape on the map, um, only the colored areas are protected. That's far from the vision we have for the future. If we want to make that huge change on a landscape level, then a strong, and diverse network is necessary at a very fundamental level. We're talking about going after a huge change on the Illinois landscape. The only way we can really do it is step by step, experiment by experiment, and most importantly, together.